Good afternoon. Um, let's see, move this closer. Had some questions coming regarding um, game consoles that are behind FortiGate appliances, VMs, devices, etc. Um, basically, the main issue is is that if they have the device behind a policy or anything like that that has any real unified threat management or anything like that tied to it, they end up running into issues with matchmaking and things of that nature. So, um, for starters, if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox or a Wii or anything like that behind your network, then obviously you're not going to be following best practice to a T anyways because those devices pretty much monitor everything you do. Uh, same thing with like an Alexa or anything like that. So what I would do is one of two options. Um, one, you can set a reservation for those devices so that they always pull the same IP or you can manually do it static or whatever and then make a policy that's at the very top that gives those devices more lenient permissions. That way you can you know, play games like Fortnite and stuff and have matchmaking actually work. Um, that's one way to do it. That's the easy way to do it. The way that I would probably recommend doing it is just create a network a VLAN, something, hang it off the actual, um, hang that device off that network and have that policy be more, be more lenient. And what that does is that gives you the ability to have your less secure devices completely segmented away from your more essential gear. Um, so it provides that level of segmentation and helps keep your other stuff safer. So that if that device was to be compromised, you don't have to worry about it necessarily spreading to your other stuff. So um, that's two ways to deal with matchmaking issues when you have a game console that's behind a FortiGate. Um, by default, it doesn't matter how you configure it, the, the game systems are going to see themselves as being moderately natted or aggressively natted. And that, that's just what it is. It's, that's the FortiGate's job is to help keep things secure and help keep random connections from just coming in and allowing it right. So, um, but yeah, that's how you handle that. So if you guys are having issues with matchmaking or anything like that, give one of those options a try. Uh, the quickest and easiest is obviously just setting a reservation and then making a policy at the top that will allow that device just to go straight out. Um, use that as a troubleshooting method and then once you're ready to do a more secure method that's when you break off a either a separate wireless network or um, maybe a VLAN that's hanging off your switch or whatever specifically for it so have fun playing Quake, Doom, whatever the kids are doing these days um, I'm probably gonna go drink a beer and uh, mourn my football team it's epic loss to Tennessee today so you guys have a good one. Post in the comments below if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, until next time.